puppets, fun and mime. Welcome to the story time. Hello Augustians. Today I'm back with another story. And the story is called Oliver's Vegetables. It's written by Vivian French and illustrated by Alison Bartlett. Finish up, Oliver, said his mum, or we'll miss the bus. Can't we walk to Grandpa's house? asked Oliver. No, said his mother. It's too far. Hurry up. The best thing about Grandpa's house was the wonderful garden. I grow all my own vegetables, Grandpa said proudly. I don't eat vegetables, Oliver told Grandpa. I only eat chips. If you want chips, you must find the potatoes. If you find something else, you eat that and no complaints. Is it a bargain? Oliver ran round the garden. But he couldn't see any potatoes. They must be hiding, he said and pulled at the nearest leaf. Carrots, said Grandpa. Just the thing for Monday lunch. So basically he found carrots dug in the ground. Oliver ate the first carrot for lunch. Oliver took a long time making up his mind on Tuesday. Gran and Grandpa came to watch him. He looked around, there were no potatoes. But there were other vegetables, and as the deal said, he had to eat those. Those crinkly leaves are pretty, he said at last. Are the potatoes there? Spinach. They had spinach for supper. And we will also have spinach because you have found it now. That was good, said Oliver. On Wednesday, Oliver got up early. Potatoes are very important. Mm, so they must have big leaves. Uh, ha, ha, here, here they are. Grandpa smiled. That's rhubarb. And that night they had rhubarb pie. That was very good, said Oliver. It rained on Thursday. When it stopped, Oliver hurried outside. Have you found the potatoes, Grandpa? Oh no, I have found slugs and snails. Grandpa, are they eating my potatoes? Grandpa shook his head. That's cabbage. Oliver had two helpings. Very, very good, he said. On Friday, Oliver was sure that he had found the potatoes. When he pulled at the leaves, up came some beetroot. That night, Oliver ate all of his beetroot salad. Mm, very, 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 very good, he said. On Saturday, Oliver played football. The ball landed in a tangle of sticks and leaves. Oliver was sure the potatoes weren't there. And Grandpa nodded. Peas, he said. Oliver had three helpings of pea soup that evening. Was that good? asked Grandpa. No, it was delicious. Oliver rushed into the garden on Sunday. Yeah, they are. How did you know? They were the only things left, Grandpa. Can we have chips now? You scrub the potatoes and I'll peel them. Grandpa can cut them, said Granny. Oliver, Gran and Grandpa sat down to eat. The door opened and in walked Oliver's mother. She saw the plate of chips. Oh dear, I did hope Oliver would eat something different while he was here. Oliver and Grandpa looked at each other. His mother stared as they laughed and laughed and laughed. Because only they knew the secret of 
olivers, vegetables, hunt. So dear Augustians, so many vegetables, delicious foods that can be made out of them. And what you just need to do is always try the vegetables that are made at home because they're all so delicious and if you don't eat them, you'll miss out. Bye-bye Augustians and let me know what you ate. Bye-bye.